Alright guys, this is Jason with FPV Model and today we have the Betaflight Backpack. And now, we've already sent one of these out to reviewers, but we're going to send a few more out and this one just arrived. So we're going to make this, uh, this general overview just kind of short and sweet because we've got to send this one out to uh, Stu over at UAV Futures. So anyways, let's just go ahead and give you kind of a basic look at it. Uh, basically this backpack, on the outside you're going to find a few straps. These straps are really just for mounting quads possibly mounting a tripod or this pocket could also be used to store water pretty much uh, just whatever you see fit to keep in it also side pockets that open outwards from the back so whenever you're out in the field and you are laying the backpack down the pockets will open up like this uh, that was a suggestion from Joshua Bardwell uh, now thing that kind of separates this backpack from others is the transmitter case that goes on the top now we can open this up here and basically what we've got is just kind of rigid sides on this backpack here and then we've got a hard shell. You can drop your uh, Tyrannus in here. This will also fit a QX7, fit the new, uh, I believe it's the QX10. Uh, one, back, uh, one transmitter that's not going to fit in here unless the antenna is protruding is the DX6. So just keep that in mind, if you, uh, if you do have a DX6 transmitter, this may not be the backpack for you. So let's go ahead, just open up these straps and kind of give you a look towards other, other pockets on the inside of this bag. So as we can see here, we can open this up from the front and this hard shell will drop down and you get kind of a large mesh pocket. Uh, the idea behind this pocket is you can keep a few extra, a few extra props inside of here and keep them out of your backpack because those three bladed and four bladed props are getting larger and larger and they take up more space. So let's move this out of the way. All right, so spinning around, another feature we've added is we've added quite a bit of cushioning in these, uh, in these straps here that go over your shoulders. The re reasoning behind this is once you load these, ba once you load these ba backpacks down fully, they get kind of heavy. So we've gave you some extra cushioning and the cushioning on the back side here is pretty durable too. Also, this strap here comes with a GoPro mount. So the GoPro mount can come on and off of the backpack depending on if you are a vlogger or not. So let's go ahead and move to the inside of this backpack. So opening it up, you can tell here just right off the bat, this is basically a typical DSLR camera style uh, bag here where you have your dividers that can be moved and adjusted to however you see fit. So depending on your particular setup, this can swap out to whatever you want to do. Now with the front of the backpack, as we mentioned the straps, don't be alarmed. Uh, if you do prefer to keep a couple of quads on the inside of your backpack, this can be adjusted so you can fit a, fit a few quads on the inside. We might even throw up a picture and show you one of our pilots that prefers to keep his on the inside. So down here you will notice this and this actually came from a guy on our Facebook page who suggested this. Before this was just a regular, uh, regular bag, uh, just a regular nylon bag and he suggested that we turn it into a lipo bag. So that uh, we listened to them, we thought it actually sounded like a pretty good idea, and we went ahead and made that a lipo bag also. Now this bag can be removed, so if for any reason you decide that uh, you need extra room and you just want to carry your lipos on the side, more than welcome to do so, and that will also clear up plenty of space on the inside here. And moving to the cover of the bag, you can see here, we have basically just kind of a flat panel for tools. These can slide into the elastic spacing and then there is also an extra pocket so other tools that do not fit in there can also fit inside here. Moving off to the side over there, there is also a laptop pocket and this laptop pocket will just open up like this and you can fit a typical 15 inch laptop anything smaller than that. Uh, for those of you guys sporting around 17 inch laptops, it, they're going to be just a little too large for this. So keep that in mind if you are using one of the larger laptops. So up here on the inside is also, uh, this is typically the spot where we would probably prefer to keep goggles. But 
that does not limit you to where you have to keep them. I noticed on Joshua Bardwell's video, he kept them over here off to the side and he's changed up this divider setup just a little, but that is up to the user. So this is a basic look. On the bottom of this bag, if we flip it around here, we can also open up this pocket at the bottom and pull out this, pull out this cover. Now this is just going to be a waterproof cover that can be placed on top of the bag. So we'll close this up just in case you're outside and it's raining. You can slip this over your bag for added protection.